Here we go. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Happy Healthy. Uh, <laughs> I almost lost my words for a minute. Happy Healthy Women, and it's Fearless Fridays. And today is um, a special day because we are doing our series of interviews. And today I have the privilege and honor of we're uh, speaking with Carolini Arco, and I am Maria Condi. I'm the branch director for the Winnipeg Happy Healthy Women branch. And myself, I'm a life and business strategist, but today it's not about me. It is about learning about Carolini today. So we are not going to get into a whole bunch of stuff on, on that, but I want you to just start up and let us know who you are, what you do, because I know you've got some really interesting things. We have some commonalities, and we'll just let the conversation evolve from there. Beautiful. Yeah. Thank you so much for having me, Maria. So yeah, my name is Carolini Arco. I am originally from Brazil, but I live here in North uh, Vancouver in Canada for a number of years now. And I am a spiritual guide. So when I say that, what does that mean is that I am somebody who have said yes to a calling that I have inside of myself to pursue spirituality, to pursue growth as the forefront of my life. So I'm trained in a variety of different modalities. I am a Reiki master teacher. I am an ACC, uh, ICF, ACC life coach, a breathwork facilitator, a shamanic practitioner. And I combine all of these tools that I have to guide people to reconnect with their soul purpose, with who they are beyond the labels of the ego and therefore create a reality channel the creative powers of the universe so they can create a reality that is deeply fulfilling and satisfying and that fulfills your soul purpose i love it mm -hmm. i love it i teach a lot on purpose as we spoke about before but i love your um view on it because everyone i know a lot of people when they think about purpose they think it's something very tangible they attach it to titles and things like that and i you know i try and get people away from that because it isn't just about having a, a specific job title or something that is your purpose. It's, it's way deeper than that, right? And you know, the methods you go into, you dive right into that to get to the core of it, as mm -hmm. opposed to those surface level where people sort of reside at often, right? So yeah, 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 exactly. people tend to, yeah, yeah, yeah. People and, tend to attach themselves to labels, as you said, right? And yeah, yeah. And it doesn't, doesn't always serve them because they're usually not on their purpose then <laughs> they're they're following you know the society and all the things that dictate what they should be doing i think they should be doing right so mm -hmm. i love that um so you know there, i have some notes here about you and we talked you talked about 5d consciousness and that is part of what you do and because you bring a whole toolbox together which is beautiful and i could touch on each one of those but we don't have that much time today <laughs> I'd love to, I love the shamanic side of things too, which is a very beautiful practice too. Um, but I want to learn a little bit more about the 5D consciousness because, you know, I have to say it's a little bit of my own what I want to out of this, but I know everyone else out there is going to benefit from that too. Beautiful. Yeah, it's wonderful. So yeah, I love talking about that because it is a topic that's coming up to the collective consciousness again, you know, is something that is being more spoken about that more and more people are starting to remember what it means to live a 5D reality. And when I'm talking about the 5D, I'm talking about the planetary transition that is happening on Mother Earth right now. And perhaps you've been feeling that, perhaps uh, some of our listening listeners have been feeling that, whether you've heard about you know, the era of Aquarius that we are entering now, or yeah. whether you're seeing that the feminine is coming back with such strength, right? Or we're moving away from all these patterns of separation and coming back into unity, coming back into equality. This is really all part of this huge shift that is happening on Mother Earth right now. And the main shift that is happening is a shift on consciousness. And consciousness is nothing more than the way that we perceive things, mm -hmm. the filters through which we interpret the world around us. Mm -hmm. So we are moving from a paradigm, which is the 3D reality, as everybody says. We live in a 3D world where mm -hmm. everything is very material, you know, like where you... You have to see it in order to believe it, uh, where is a reality of a lot of polarity, right? Where I, everything is either good or bad, or yeah. you're right or you're wrong. Polarity is in everything, right? Yeah. 
Yes, and we are moving into a 5G consciousness, into a state of unity. Mm. And this process is happening first and foremost because Gaia or the earth, the mm. earth has a soul that is called Gaia. Yeah. The soul of the earth has already decided to ascend. Mm -hmm. So our planet is becoming less material and more energetic based. And we can see that happening by people who are suddenly out of nowhere starting to be interested in Reiki, you know, or law of attraction or different concepts that a few years ago were just not, you know, were not on most people's minds. And now these things are coming back because we are remember our energetic nature. Mm -hmm. So part of this ascension process is we are going to change from a 3D based perception to a 5D based perception. A 5D stands for fifth dimension. Yeah. And when you're talking about a dimension, we're not talking about a place that you're going to go. It's not like a portal <laughs> going to open up in front of you yeah. and you're going to enter and there I am. But we are talking about a state of being, again, mm -hmm. shifting perception. And that state of being on a 5D level is you recognize that first and foremost, you are energy. Mm -hmm. And that energy is the driving force behind anything that we experience in the world. So knowing your energetic nature and knowing how to manage that energetic nature, mm -hmm. you can manifest what you want in the world, what you want in your life. Yeah. And in a 5D perception, a 5D dimension is a way of being where the frequencies, and I know that I'm going really deep here, the frequencies <laughs> that we connect with are very different than the frequencies that we connect to now. So right now, a lot of people connect to the frequency of fear very easily, yes. um, you know, very easily. The, fear, the frequency of worry or the frequency of blame or the frequency of anxiety. And when we upgrade to a 5D perception, those frequencies simply don't exist in our bodies anymore. We're, they don't hold. They're too dense mm. to be there. So we start living in a place that is really pure bliss. You know, yeah. it's blissful and is a constant dance with the universe around you because you understand how your energy affects the energy of everything. So you're dancing in this co-creation process. So, yeah, so this is a process that we're all going through. We're all upgrading to that level. Just, you know, certain people in different speeds than other people. And, and you can feel the shift, though. And I see it a lot because I work with people, you know, sort of coming out of the corporate world that are wanting to do something more purposeful in their life, right? Yes. And they take that more holistic path as opposed to switching from being a nurse to go be an accountant sort of thing. It's, they're going into more holistic means or, you know, spaces to find that purpose and and start living a, a different life too and yes. you know it's really interesting on the you know material aspect side of things too where you see that shift and it's that's a hard piece for i think most people that materiality piece right when it comes to the possessions and having to um have things you know there's still a, a huge population that has to keep up with the joneses and all those things right and like you said everyone's on a different time span of doing all that and you know i do find do you find the transition for people can be a little bit murky <laughs> well so so yeah so that is what we're experiencing right now right because there's a lot of talk about like yeah the 3d reality and then the 5d reality what you know there, there's the a middle <laughs> there is a middle Exactly. Uh -huh. Right. And, you know, the 3D, there's a 4D before we get into the 5D. Yeah. And the 4D is really what we are experiencing right now, especially the beings who are more aware of what's happening in the world energetically. The 4D is a bridge frequency, right? Which is yes. a state where sometimes you have those glimpses of, you know, absolute gratitude and absolute bliss and instant manifestation. You think about something and that happens straight away. That is very much a 5D reality. And then the next day, you know, where the moon changes, you're just back into the 3D and you're back into the duality. And you're like, what's <laughs> happening here? Where did all that go? Right? Yeah, totally. So I can totally relate to that because I, I fluctuate between all of that. You know, we, we had a conversation right before and, you know, that's exactly what it is. You know, things are moving along and it's just beautiful. And all of a sudden it's like a something slaps you upside the head. It was like, what? <laughs> what happened? It's all going good. <laughs> yes. This Love is the 4D. It. 
this is the 4D, yeah. it's the bridge dimension, right? Which yeah. I truly believe and I feel the earth is already living in a 4D dimension. We can yeah. see like so many amazing things happening for the collective and then the next day it feels like we took 10 steps back, you know? Absolutely. And we've been like that for a couple of years, it feels like of forward, backward, forward, backward sort of feeling, right? Exactly. And, and so this is the process, this is the chance or the time that we have, you know, as humanity as a whole, um, yeah, attunes themselves to a 5D frequency. This is the time that we have to prepare ourselves for this new reality. And the, to prepare ourselves really means to prepare our nervous system to hold that new level of information that the 5D is bringing to us. Mm -hmm. Because we are getting, you know, like an extreme amount of information, an extreme amount of light. And just like the light of the sun is very nourishing, is very beautiful, but even too much light, if we're not prepared, can burn us. Yeah, totally. Okay? Yeah. So we are going like a lot of people are doing this quest of like ascension, you know, or spiritual awakening or why not? And what we kind of need to understand is that we can't get there just out of nowhere. We wouldn't be able to handle it. Our bodies yeah. wouldn't be able to hold that amount of energy. So we need to prepare ourselves, you know, by drinking more water, by being more in contact with nature, by expressing those emotions, by understanding emotions. <laughs> yeah, totally. In I order to actually be able to hold the new reality that is coming for all of us. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question for you. How do you know if you have a spiritual calling? Yeah. How do you know yeah. that you have a spiritual yeah. calling? First of all, is something that's just by hearing the words, do you have a spiritual calling? There's something inside of you that already goes, yeah, I know I do. Even if triggers, yeah. You know, even if you're like, well, I haven't even said, like I never said it out loud or, you know, no, 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 no. Like these tarot cards that I take here, they're just a, they're just a thing. They're just my hobby, but it doesn't mean much, you know? But the moment your spirit becomes aware of something that goes beyond what your five senses, five physical senses can perceive. Mm -hmm. And the moment that awareness drives your curiosity to go forward and explore that you have a spiritual call. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I love it. I could talk for hours on this. And like I, we spoke before, I have a podcast and I, you know, I, I can get on tangents about things, right? I'm going to stay on the agenda today. <laughs> um, so I'd love to know how you actually work with your clients. Like what you know, like I run programs and do different things and one-on-one, -on -one. do you have workshops or what do you have going on? How do you serve your audience? Yeah, I serve in a, in a variety of ways. So first and foremost, I, I do a variety of events every week. I have at least two events. One of them is a breathwork session. Mm. Uh, are you familiar with breathwork? You know what? A little bit, a mm. little bit. I've done bits and pieces of it over time. I did some uh, different yoga styles over time too, where they teach you, you know, we, we had carved out time to learn some different breath work and, you know, it could be a little bit different from what you teach, but I do have a little bit back. So you go for it. Yeah. Enlighten me. <laughs> so, so breath work is a technique by the use of the breath, as the name says, right. Which really has the potential to one move a lot of stagnant energy in your body. Um, let a lot of things go that you are holding on either consciously or unconsciously, you know, so it's kind of like a clearing process on an energy and emotional level. And two, it has the potential to expand your consciousness in a very fast and safe way. So a breathwork session is really an opportunity to kind of like go beyond that veil of separation that we, you know, the illusion of separation that we have and connect back to the whole and have that experience of wholeness, of being one with the divine. So once you have that experience, it's really hard to unlearn that, you know, for anybody yeah. who has had any sort of spiritual experiences, once you achieve that, it's very hard to not be touched by it. And we want yeah. people to achieve those states more and more often so that, that it becomes normal for, for them to experience yeah. the divine. Yeah. So I do that every week for uh, at Tuesdays, 5 p.m. PST inside my, my own meetup group. Okay. And then I also do a variety of events where I talk about the 5D consciousness, where I talk about past lives and how they influence your mm -hmm. current life, where I talk about Lemuria consciousness, which are true ancestors, the ones that actually, you know, bought humanity to the earth from the stars. And I know we're going very deep in here, but... <laughs> It's like, oh, <laughs> we, could, we could be here a couple hours on this one. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. That is amazing. Um, and then I do serve clients on a high level container one on one as well, where okay. 
it's a very personalized uh, program where we see, you know, what is going on in your field. And when I say the field is your field of information is the body around you that goes beyond your physical body, right? Your emotional, your mental, and your spiritual body that carries all the information from all of your past lives. Mm -hmm. So my one-on-one -on -one work is really seeing, you know, what is on your field? What is your soul trying to communicate here? What does your soul need to release in order for you to step into the next level of evolution for you? And so it's a process of first, yes, energy, you know, uncovering mm -hmm. things energetically and then doing the same thing in an emotional and mental level where it's giving the client the tools that they need in order to manage their own emotions, in order to be in alignment with their own thoughts so that they, they can leave this 3D, 4D reality from a conscious creator state, not so more yeah. of a victim state, but a conscious creator state that yeah. is in alignment with your soul purpose. I love it. So it's really like, you know, it's a very transformational kind of mind blowing experience that's yeah. achieved at all levels of what is needed to have mastery as a soul being in a human body, right? I love it. That is beautiful. I love it. And I, I have had the privilege to actually have a session recently on similar to what you do. And it was unbelievable experience to you know, go into what the soul is here for and explore all that. It was really, really powerful. So thank you for sharing all of that. That is amazing. And I would love to, you know, talk about how people can, what's the best way to find you? You know, because today's world is we have many means and you have your, you said you do your breath work in the meetup side too, right? Which is good to know. Yes. So I'll put that, um, I'll put the, the, the meetup for our branch from Happy Healthy Woman, yeah. where I advertise my, my breathwork sessions there as well. Oh, so okay, can, great. Yeah. So you can find that there. And you can also join my Facebook group. I'm just kind of starting it out, but that's where I'm going to be bringing in more journeys, visualizations, and yeah, just more tools for you to connect with that divine. <laughs> I love it. And for a reminder for all of you watching too, for the Happy Healthy Woman you know, Collective, you know, it's not just your local sort of chapter. We are across the country and there is so much there. So reach out to your local director if you're not sure where all the bits and pieces are, because there's a lot of different things you can tap into. And, mm -hmm. you know, we, we have several Facebook groups and depends on, you know, how you are coming into um, our world. And then there's lots of resources for you too. So that is amazing. This has been an amazing conversation today. And like I said, I could sit here for hours and chat, <laughs> but I have to be res respectful of what we're on the agenda for today. And that's just for highlighting all of our trailblazers across the country and um, all the richness and the goodness that they bring to this whole collective that we are part of trying to have, you know, more authentic connections, healthier, happier souls overall, right? So. And, you know, thank you for Natalie for creating this, this space for us and um, allowing this to happen. So thank you, everyone. Did you have any last parting words, Carolini, before we end for today? Any last messages for people? I think just something that can really help people who are going through that transition, you know, like who are experiencing the 4D of like, you know, going, yes, going back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> um, that the, one, the number one frequency that we are going to connect to as a 5D collective is the frequency of trust. Mm. Um, and is, you know, is that idea that we can't control everything around us. We can only really control our reaction to things. Yes. But that we hold that knowing deep inside our hearts that just as the universe is in constant expansion, we are also in constant growth. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter, you know, how difficult things get or how dense life may seem in the end of the day you're still moving in that direction of growth and expansion and that's having that level of trust having that certainty grounded in your heart is what's going to help us move with a little bit more grace through yeah. this you know period absolutely i do a lot so of I just work on leave yeah. with that is like you know just work on your trust at any moment yeah. that it's like you fell off the path remember to trust and remember the higher plan and that you are part of the higher plan and that by itself is proof that you are on the right track and that you are evolving and growing 
And that's all that matters, really. <laughs> I love it. And I, you know, when I think of my law of attraction practices and what I teach, you know, you're always looking for the evidence that things are showing up on for, for your own, um, what's the word I'm looking for, for your own good, right? It's, and you have to, some days it feels like you're against the brick wall, but you, you have to look for those things that are, oh yeah, that is working in, for my best, you know? And it's, you have yes. to find those, right? On those tough days. Yes. and and have the faith and belief and and that it and trust that it is happening mm -hmm. and uh, be patient <laughs> be patient so thank you so much carolini for today it's been an honor to meet you and learn about what you do and you know we'll have things in the notes too i'm sure of how to connect with you and things like that too so beautiful thank you so much thank for having you me so Maria. much have a great day everyone bye bye